That was a good logo. Oh no, can I not use my this? Several years earlier. Yeah, no, no, no pad allowed. No, no, no hitbox allowed. Oh my God, this looks so good. I'm pretty excited. Lumisa Kosugi. It's Zelbu, dude. No, wait, don't leave those. It looks so good. It's that girl! Yeah, Molebrook! What is this? The greatest ruin- She's got an American flag bandana?! Dude! The Zeroth Body, the Ninth Spirit. Holy shit. This game's gonna go fucking nuts, isn't it? There we go. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh no, I think it's just not picking up my D-pad. No, I think it's just not picking up anything. And I can't... I would just play on keyboard, but I can't. Because I can't change the uh, the movement keys. Oh, it's because it's using analog. Uh, here I. Well, why? Why would I need analog? That's the thing. Okay, so let's plug in the PS4 controller if I need analog. No, this is this is a Nigoro game. Because if it wants me to use analog sticks, I feel like analog sticks are probably going to be needed. Oh, it was? Okay, there we go. Redundant button assignment. Okay, so that must already be menu. All right, let's put pause on that and menu on this. What is pad button three?
Even this menu is difficult. Okay, redundant button assignment, so that one's good. No, it's not. I can't do that. Hold on. I'm so confused. All I know is I don't... I want my jump button on X. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. We'll figure it out. Quality best. Full screen. Controller. That's all I need to change. Why is this still scape to jump? Oh wait, I know why. Hold on, I know what's happening, I think. I figured it out. It's because my controller was being picked up as two controllers. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Main weapon, sets. Oh, for memories. That's pretty nice that you get like different sets now that you can just load and unload. Whip, a must-have for adventures. Deals damage along, along its swing arc as well as when extended out in front. Look at all that animation. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna start hitting walls now. We're just gonna, we're just gonna start off right away hitting everything. Oh God, is that? Is that all Zell food? can't read the sign. I feel like, oh, you have way more control over yourself in the air now. You were locked into your jump arc in, in La Mulana 1, right? I feel like I have a lot of control over my jump arc here. Zelpud get women! Hey, you made it. I'm Zelpud. I live at the tourist village of the Lamulana Ruins. 
finally managed to turn the Lama Lana ruins into a tourist spot. Now we've been getting reports of unknown monster sightings. I sent a letter to Dad, the archaeologist, asking him to come investigate. So how come he sent his daughter? Can't get hold of your dad. You break into archaeology and immediately surpass your dad, huh? What a weird family. Why is the one on the left posing like Dio? Don't worry about it. Anyway, the quest was for finding out just what is going on in the Lama Lama ruins. Then taking care of whatever the problem was. If you can handle it yourself, that's fine with me. You must have completed your dad's ninja training by now, right? Apparently, the monsters have been coming from the depths of the ruins. With all this danger, no one's gonna want to come here anymore. We're gonna lose all our businesses. Figure out the cause and make sure those monsters never come out again. But with my being such a gentleman and all, I'll do you a favor and help a cute little girl out. Let me that there tablet real quick. My very own homegrown messaging software. Send you helpful hints and stuff to help out with your investigation. When you hear the funky little beep notification, hit the pause button and check out the tablet. You can thank me later. The Zell Pewter, the good old Zell Pewter. You wanna hear it again? Nope. Orally. Orally. So if you want some money or something, huh? There you go. Grab some of this. Zelf would making it rain. He actually just gave me money. If you want to take a break, there's an awesome hot spring over to the left. You can use the pimped out tablet outside my house to save your game. Press up in front of the tablet. You want to hear it again? Weep weep! It's me! Good! Oh, I love him. Morning, Viet. Good morning, Viet. Al Mulana. Hello, Rocket Fox. So get message me messages from me like the, here, like this one. I can see where you are using your tablet's camera. I'm gonna teach you the ABCs of adventure. I'm such a gentleman. Try wandering around above ground a bit before entering the ruins. It'll be good practice. Don't leave me hanging. Read your messages. He says. Hey there, you investigating the ruins? So, you're definitely gonna need a hand scanner for expecting tablets. Spot one yet? Nope. I saw that. I saw that you've been getting into the game's randomizer. Hey, dick nuts! I just said you're gonna need that thing, didn't I? So buy that shit! You wanna get weird on your ass? Hey! Be nice! Hey, dick nuts. Why are they so mean now? I can't talk to her. Kinda of way too huge though, jeez. Love a good old pistol. Oh, it's so cheap. Welcome. Adventure time, huh? Better stock up. I'll take it. What's this? That's pepper. Can't cook without pepper. Oh, pepper. Hello, Dalty. Already out shopping, huh? You can use some items by equipping them and pressing the item button. There's more out there than run-of-the-mill hand scanners. The ruins hold key treasures. Weird items you gotta put someplace. All kinds of stuff. Bring them to me. I'll tell you what they are. If I can, that is. This is known as the Holy Grail Tablet. It has been in this village for generations. Examine it, whatever that means, and it will bring up, bring back your memories of this place. Basically, you can save if you press the up button. Yeah. Weep weep. That pimped out looking stone tablet there? It's called the Holy Grail Tablet, and it can hold memories. What that means you can save. And you better make sure you read what's written there too. Come on, promise an old man. <laughs> Hey there, are you investigating the ruins? Oh yeah. Well duh! If you're going into the ruins, why don't don't you need a map? The tourist map for La Mulana ruins. I'd like one. Here you go. 
can't use the map by itself, though. Don't forget to buy a map app at the shop over by the hot springs. <laughs> They're ringing me dry! You just learned to clip through barriers in Coffee Kitty? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh! Construction ongoing. We are busy repairing the structural collapse of the ruins. Danger, do not enter. Each chief of construction, Samaranta. There's another sign up to the top left, I think. The Yagu, the text tracks too. Oh God, I'm gonna need weights too. That records text, yeah, I'll take it. Thanks much. Have you bought the map app from the Burr yet? The app is used to manage your maps, but you gotta collect the maps yourself. The maps of the ruins are hidden in each site. Load apps from the app menu on your tablet. I've already loaded the software for you to read my messages. Make sure you keep my app loaded at all times, okay? That's here. This game's rando gives you the option to just start with weights and money. That's actually amazing. That big, uh, big ass tent on the hill is where Al Sedona lives. Al Sedona was one of the four philosophers. They headed up the ceiling of La Mulana, and he was their top guy. Now he's old and lives in peace and quiet. Don't forget to go say hi. The altar used by the villagers. Please maintain respectful silence. Oh, what a charming young visitor. I'm El Sedona. I'm one of the four philosophers who once controlled death itself. Now, as you can see, I just lie and wait for death to come. I've heard about you from the Elder. There isn't much I can do to help. Obos and Samaranta, two of the younger philosophers, are inside the ruins. You should pay them a visit. Since you've come all this way to see me, I'd be happy to tell you whatever you'd like to hear about the old days. Would you like to hear that again? I'm cool. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You go deeper in, there's an altar out past this house. Really like that place. I sort of insisted on living here since it's close by. That altar is used for village festivals and rituals. For example, funerals and such. I'd been sleeping down in the ruins for so long, I'm happy to be able to die up here above ground. Do -do 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 -do. He's old. He's so ready to go. Yeah, I know. God, I need more weights. I hope I get a lot of money out of this jar. Nope. Nope. All right. I'll get money later, I guess, hopefully. Entrance to La Mulana Ruins. P.S. Watch your step. Need weight? Just eat more. Oh, hold on. Split gate. Similar to the candy bentar of Bali Island, but decorated differently. Thought to have been built in tribute to the creator of the La Mulana Ruins, but these claims are unverified. There are also tales that people emerged from here once, but these claims too are unverified.
Oh god. Help! Well, how the fuck do I get out? Oh, there we go. Why, why do I have to make such a tight jump? Is there a ladder next to the stairs? Oh, I see it. I see it now. I didn't read this one. There are several face murals by the ruins entrance. They contain mechanisms to make the eyes glow, but it isn't in effect at the current time. The reason for the mural's construction is unclear. Please head downwards. Warning, please do not jump off the ledge unless you are a qualified ninja or archaeologist. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I noticed that I had way more control. La Mulana Ruins Dictionary, the Mural of Departure, a mural thought to be depicting the history of the La Mulana Ruins, though these claims have not been verified. The ruins through the gate on the right are known as the Gate of Guidance. La Mulana Ruins. Wee wee! That there's the ruins of La Mulana! Back in the day, your dad explored and well destroyed the place. Reconstruction is ongoing, but keep down, keep going down and you'll get to the mausoleum of the giants where monsters have been spotted. Don't go anywhere weird and you should be fine. God damn it, I said to investigate the place, not to jack it all up. I'm trying to tourist the place up, you know. Gate of Guidance. This area around the entrance of the La Mulana Ruins is known as the Gate of Guidance. These ruins are split into sections, such as this one, and it has been, de been determined that these sections were created and inhabited by different races. Duh! <laughs> I love... I love this so far. Just like the fucking blatant, like... What's the word I'm looking for? Commercialization? Of La Mulana? The depths of the ruins are pitch black. They were once lit by undying flames, but these flames winked out when the ruins collapsed. Warning, there are bats in the ruins, so we'd appreciate it if you'd kill them for us. Oh my god. This is so silly. Zell put a Zell put is a guy. There are many treasure chests hidden throughout the ruins. You'll need to undo the mechanisms locking them. For example, this chest can be unlocked by placing a weight on the pedestal below. Shell horn acquired. You get the shell horn? I mean, it is one of the artifacts on display in the ruins, so whatever. I'm such a gentleman, I'll give it to you anyway. The shell horn lets you know once you've solved one of the ruins mysteries with this sound that sounds kind of like a mystery solved. It's stuck in a trap and it makes a sound kind of like, that's a trap. <laughs> I love him. Yoshi ass text notifications. Wait, wait. Reconstruction of La Mulana peoples. Six distinct races are thought to have lived in La Mulana. These races are called the first through sixth children. The expression children comes from the fact that their mother, La Mulana, created them. 
Incidentally, we villagers are the seventh children, and you, our patrons, are the eighth. I'll have to figure out how to switch the mode on my hitbox so I can use that. Oh, here we go. Vases often have coins or weaponry inside. Some vases, such as the one above, are out of immediate reach. Perhaps there were ancient forerunners who could jump their way up. Yeah, me. What's with that sign? Something studio? Spite, spite studio? The ruins are labyrinthian. The room on the left, for example, cannot be reached conventionally by human means, unless that human is capable of jumping incredible distances. Warning, don't attempt to jump unless you are absolutely certain you can. Only certified ninja or archaeologist can make the jump. Can't even do anything over here yet, though. Oh, it's that door. That must be the trap sound that I don't remember. God, I'm probably. I really hope that door has a two in this game and that bothers you more than it should. I was about to say, I really hope I don't have to <laughs> actually learn La Mulana language this time around. As I. L I fucking solved the one puzzle you need to learn the numbers for on accident last time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this shop's not open yet. I'm thinking of opening up once things calm down a bit. If you're inspecting the ruins, I'll give you a helpful tip. You see that treasure chest outside the shop? It can be opened from hitting it from below. There's helpful stuff inside. That is pretty helpful. Holy Grail! Uh-oh, you opened the treasure chest of the Holy Grail? Hmm, that's a precious display item, you know. But it's necessary for the investigation. So what are you gonna do, huh? I'm a pretty laid-back guy, aren't I? If you have the Holy Grail, you can warp places. It's awesome! You know the Holy Grail tablet near my castle? That, the thing used for saving. You can warp to places where those are located. Basically a special item you can use to come hang out with me. I can't believe I already have the Holy Grail this time. The chest above contains an artifact known as the Holy Grail. It's said that reading a Holy Grail tablet will record its leg location to the Holy Grail, allowing you to instantaneously recall your very being back to said location. Priceless artifact, so we ask patrons do not handle it. I want to go this way. And I didn't even have to go to Camelot. Damn. La Mulana got fucked up. I love it. Kind of weird the grail works still, since Lameza kind of broke it when he caught the treasure of life with it. No, it's fine. They got a new one. They just replaced it. Pathway under construction following the collapse of the ruins, which I had nothing to do with, by the way. Feel free to crawl over the rubble and climb on the girders. That's hilarious. The... <laughs> The shop theme was the desert theme in Mega Man Sprite comic? I didn't know that. Yeah. 
That's a cute animation. Mausoleum of the Giants ahead. This section of the ruins contains monuments to the giant race, the second children. The extensive damage of the mausoleum of the giants is still under repair. Please watch your step. Wait, so is this the two? Is this the number two? I feel like I should be writing this shit down. You know what? I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll take my notebook from work and use that to write stuff down. There we go. Isn't there like a trap over here? I'm getting really lucky with the weights. Yeah, I just... I'm gonna just write them down and figure them out just in case this time. <laughs> I'm definitely not trying to get gate kept by my ignorance this time around. I'm definitely gonna keep, keep better notes this time. I have heard this game's easier than Lamu. Lamu 1. But I'm still going to be taking good notes and stuff. An astronomic mural with carvings of the sun, moon, and stars. It can be inferred that the forerunners who lived in the La Mulana ruins had a sophisticated grasp of astronomy. The mural contains records of successful communication between the forerunners and extraterrestrials. The game's puzzles feel more, feel more fair at least. That's good. Because there were, there were a couple in Lamu 1 that were <laughs> just insanely fucked. Yeah, I'm sure it's not gonna be free. Which I'm very excited for. Zebu statue led the nine giant siblings. Zebu is the eldest brother, said to have attempted to maintain maintain peace between his siblings throughout their conflict. It's maybe why he is immortalized as a figure holding up the earth. Oh, here we go. Whoop, whoop. Like you made it to the mausoleum of the giants. Monster been spotted. Just a bit further down. Just to be safe. Write this down in your notes. You can save this by pressing the up button. Press on the up button. Oh, this. Dun, 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 dun. The weird save point that never shows up again? Wait, really? That's really funny. Miguela and Fudo statue. Miguela, Fudo, Bato, and Leto were known as the Star Giants. Their goal was to leave the ruins and venture to space. Murals have been unearthed that suggest they communicated with extraterrestrials. God, I remember all this. I remember all this so vividly. Said to have been the first to fall in the battle against the moon giants, Bado. It's all so nostalgic. It wasn't even that long ago. God, La Mulana is such a good game. Leto statue. Said to have been killed when stabbed through the chest by the moon giant, Sakit. 
Theories suggest she wanted to escape to the surface, not only out of principle, but because she dreamed of seeing the sun. No, Leto's statue is undergoing repair. The head is less complete than at time of discovery, and research into restoring it is underway. <laughs> oh, shit. I, are all these written by La Meza? Because it feels like they are. Rebu statue. The statues in this room are of are a group of giants known as the Moon Giants. This one, Ribu, was executed for colluding in the Star Giants rocket development plan. There's a little bit of retconning from the first game's lore. Oh, okay. Oh man, I wanted. To oh shit! Ratatoskar. Is that like a ratatouille? Oh, it's gone. Yeah, if these are actually, like if a lot of these are written by La Meza, it seems like he just, as a, as a professional archeologist, just was a little smarter than us and, and you know, was able to figure these things out through uh, his, his archeo archeological intuition. <laughs> I don't know. Moon Giants, those who wanted to remain living in these lands of La Mulana, revolted against the Star Giants. It is said the Moon Giants prayed for the conflict to come to an end. G Statue. Sakit Statue. Sakit is attributed with sparking the conflict between the Giants when he attacked Leto. The tale of how he embedded a key imbued with his power into Leto's body before falling into slumber continues to captivate imaginations generations later. But Sakit's motives remain a mystery. P.S. Sakit's statue is under repair. Abuto statue, the last giant to have lived, credited with leaving a record of the giant's history to the future. P.S. Abatu's stu statue is under repair. Yo, what's up? Samaranta, a great help, I think. You defeated that squirrel monster? What impressive power. My apologies, fighting is not exactly my forte. I stayed hidden. My name is Samarantha. I'm one of the seventh children. I was once one of the four philosophers. However, as the younger members, I've been assisting in post-collapse inspection and restoration of the ruins. I had planned on visiting the Fairy Queen, who still resides in secret deep within this place. But at this rate, pairs don't look set to finish remotely soon. The elevator above has been repaired next to the gate of guidance so pass through the gate and head toward the gate of illusion there you shall mount, meet with one of the other one of the four philo another of the four philosophers phobos it is believed that the phenomena occurring within the ruins is something to do with the egg lana ruins aka the other side of la mulana a huge squirrel seems to have warped here to the mausoleum of the giants from somewhere else it came from egg lana and the cause of these problems may also be there as well in secret, you sure about that bud? I know, right? I'm fine. I'll be here for a while, inspecting the repairs. Maybe he just trusts me, since I just killed the squirrel. Oh look, the door's blocked off right there. Gate of Illusion is fucked up.
I'm like already in the habit of whipping everything. I'm so paranoid. There is so much just random fucking whip bullshit in the first game. <laughs> who are you? Ah, it's the daughter of the man who solved the mystery of the La Mulana ruins, I see. I am Phobos of the Four Philosophers. How do they know? Can they just tell? I mean, it's kind of obvious. It's pretty obvious. If I... <laughs> if... <laughs> I feel like it would be pretty obvious. If you were one of these people and you had to deal with La Meza and then so much and then you saw his daughter, I feel like you'd be able to be like, oh, I know who you are. It's being freed from the La Mulana ruins and completing my duty as a philosopher and living here. Trying to recreate the ruins that were destroyed and the relics that were lost when your father solved said mystery. Anything I'm able to properly recreate, send off to the shops in these ruins. Do me a favor and buy whatever you can. I've received most of the pertinent details from Samarantha. Seems that monsters have become appearing in La Mulana again, once again. With the defeat of the entity known as the Mother, the La Mulana ruins were supposed to have become simply that, just ruins. Monsters spotted by Samarantha apparently had the ability to move through freely through space. That leads us to believe that it came from the lands of exile, of Eglana, though we know nothing about it other than it exists. So you have questions for me, yes? Yeah, let's just let's just get the extra lore. La Mulana ruins were constructed inside the huge living entity known as the Mother. It was said to have fallen to this planet from the skies long ago and gave birth to its progeny for the purpose of creating a workforce to send it back into space. Those progeny are us, mankind, before philosophers are of the seventh group to be born, known as the seventh children. We sought death for the Mother, who had continually destroyed for each generation of her children. Who had continually destroyed each generation of her children. Children refers to the various races born from the mother. Each race was created by the mother in order to work to send her back to space, but upon realizing that each subsequent generation was flawed in some way, she systematically destroyed them. It is said that she bore eight distinctive races, each of which was born inside the mother and subsequently spread up above ground upon developing a civilization inside the La Mulana ruins. This is why the La Mulana ruins are referred to as the cradle of all civilization. Anything else? No. You modern humans, by the way, are part of the group known as the Eighth Children. Your race was born from a life-giving machine called the Tree of Life, into which we Seventh Children imbued our own memories and mind in order to create you. Iglana is known as the Child of La Mulana. The Child reference brings something to mind. Step outside a second. Damn, my kids please return me to space. No! This is called the child statue. I live here precisely because looking at this statue inspires my research. The La Mulana ruins. There isn't much else with a similar name. But we'll look into it. Holy shit! My inspiration. Hmm? The gate won't open. Let me try it. <laughs> oh shit. Like, like, father, like daughter. Huh? It opens. Hmm. It would appear as though it will only open for those possessing the mother's power. For a seventh child like myself, it's easily opened. For an eighth child. Without the mother's memories, such as yourself, this it can't be opened. I don't know what exactly brought you here, but I feel like it was fate. The Aglana ruins that we philosophers were investigating really do lie beyond this gate. The entire world could be in great peril. Ask and you shall be given. Think and you shall find. Words of wisdom for those wishing to face the ruins. Come see us philosophers if you have any trouble. Send me your tablet before you go in. Is a type of software that records data left in the ruins. I developed it myself. You can find some sort of microchips loaded with data. I'd suggest gathering them. Ruins Encyclopedia. Ah, uh, inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> ruins. 
Rip, ancient wonder of the world gone. Maybe it should have been less bitch made. Ruins Encyclopedia. An encyclopedia allows you data on various things. Loading in data ROMs, discovered in the ruins will add extra pages. Okay, I have zero pages. Eglana Ruins. This game has a bestiary? Oh no. That is kind of cool though. Oh, the first game had a bestiary? Oh my god, this intro. The zeroth body, the ninth spirit. Isn't bestiary legal? Yes. Yes. Roots of Yggdrasil. Oh no. Weep weep. This is Phobos. I just hacked your tablet so that we can communicate. When investigating the ruins of La Mulana, I picked up some information on the Eglana ruins as well. They're built similarly, so I'll fill you on in on what I can. The first of many. Yggdrasil? That doesn't sound right. Welcome, denizen of the Mother's World. This is the world of fools at constant war. A land of battle destined for ruin. Are you the harbinger of ruin? Or did you simply flow in on the tide? You pitiful one, who will never know freedom from struggle. Oh god. Who are you? This is Eglana, the land of exile where one can only wait for death. This place itself is the deepest level of Eglana, the roots of Yggdrasil. Leave this place now if you value your life. This song does go kind of hard. Sacred Orb! Okay, that's a health doubler. The Holy Grail revives memories of lands once visited. Hold it in hand and rouse those memories. Your very being shall be summoned there too. That's really it? Okay, sure. I thought that was going to be way more complicated. You forgot this map chest on two different random seeds and it was like required. Oh shit! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and so it begins. This is the roots of Yggdrasil. The roots that connect the world to the land of beginnings. Ah! They killed Pikachu. Damn, this song is good as hell. The goddesses looked upon those wielding power and wept. They looked upon those wielding weapons too and wept. I must need to come back here. 
the weapon. Yep, okay. I was 100% suspicious of that. When the goddesses weep, the spring shall run dry, marking the beginning of the end for Yggdrasil. I definitely... Oh, shit! Watch where you're whipping! Ah! And so it begins. Oh, not again, dude. Alright, I need to get back to the save tablet and go to the hot spring. Yeah, whip everything, but don't make sure you don't whip everything. Whip everything, but don't whip everything. Oh, I saved on the wrong thing. Now there's one of my village's famous hot springs. It'll buck you right up. Restores your health, too. Go to town with it, but take your clothes off first. Huh? Wahahaha. Wahahaha. Pervert! I don't want to... I don't want to talk about the other game with the roots of Yggdrasil. I want to visit Zelpoon. Hey there, you scored a hand skinner, huh? Without that, there isn't much you can do. You use the hand scanner for stuff like reading tablets and inspect the important looking stuff you find in the ruins. As an archaeologist, you gotta be able to read the ancient text written on the tablets. Also, memos found with skeletons, signs, stuff like that too. Might be other stuff you can inspect with it too. Find anything that catches your eye. Try inspecting it. Ding ding. Oh, okay. The lower parts of these ruins are scary. I think I'll try exploring the upper parts first. Okay, time for a rest. For all eternity, that is. Looks like the rooms of the ruins have names. Someone give me a map. I'll seriously buy one. Path to the roots. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah. You know. Shit. Just wanted to inspect you. From the top down is the basics of ruin exploration. If you fall down to the bottom first and can't to get back up, you're screwed. Okay, I think that's all the skeletons. I just wanted to, to read all the skeletons. Trickster sealed by the goddesses, who invites the world's end, shall be cursed to an eternity of poison. Oh shit! Okay, I think I have to walk slow across that. <laughs> Look at that animation! That's a good animation.
Damn it. This is Verdani's route, the path to those who have dwelled in this land since ancient time. Why has it got red eyes? I was drowning. Oh! I tried to clean a curry stain off my shirt, and this was the only water around. I am not a clever man. <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's the one way. Why did Lameza not teach his daughter to swim? The puddles of water inside the ru Oh wait, he did. They're just poison puddles. The puddles of water inside the ruins are poisonous. I mean, these ruins are set on killing the hell out of any intruders. There's a treasure called the Scale Sphere that counteracts the poison. Also, you know how to swim? Use the jump button to swim in the water. Even without swimming, you can kind of wade through, too. When you want to get out, swim while going upwards. You gotta stay motivated to keep moving on up, you know? The gate is the same as the one you use to enter Eglana. Can't be opened without a race possessing the mother's memories. And some sort of power related to the mother. Seems it can also be opened by undoing some kind of mechanism, so you have to use your head. How do you get into that room back there? Guess you just gotta grab onto the column and take a leap of faith. <laughs> what am I, a ninja? The path from the roots blocked at Yg Yggdrasil Gate. Beyond the ancient land of origin, the ice fiery treetop, the land of ongoing warfare, a mortal battlefield, the land where the future of Yggdrasil was set. And I'm recording this. Oh, there's like little spikes right there. I didn't even notice those. Let's get out of here. Ah, I see. Okay. That's weird. I feel like there should be a mechanism for this around here somewhere. Shit. I tried to whip the other way. Oh great, it's the pillar of light. This is Erd's root, a path guarded by the black dragon Nidhogg, the road up to the land of the dead. Oh, nice. Definitely thought there was something in there. The path protecting the beast goddess Sekhmet is protected by five mantras. Path woven of five mantras. I see four here. Four symbols here. These ruins are full of mysteries. Moving forward, I'm going to leave the cryptic mumbo jumbo for later. Didn't think I'd move all the way forward to the next life though. That was a really cute animation. What's that round sigil-like thing? I wonder if you need something special to work it. Oh god, I gotta be careful where I'm whipping. If I whip this thing, I probably get hurt. Or that thing over to the top left.
Skuld's route continues towards the future. Ratatosker gnaws on the roots before heading to the treetop. Oh shit, there's spikes up there! Oh shit, there were spikes up there! What the fuck? I'm dead! <laughs> and so it begins. The legend of La Mulana. I want to save before... Because I... I've, oh, wait. Let's, okay, yeah. It starts me on one every time. Oh, fuck. Shit! Bastard! Oh, God! I think I, I'm probably fighting him too early, but I still want to want to see what I can do. A seal unlocked by four sigils. Sometimes they seal a path. Sometimes they seal power. Shit. That was really close. Yeah, I got this. I got this now. Oh, nice. It, it like, overflows. Weep, weep. The gate is the same as the one you used to enter. Oh, okay, it's this message again. I saw him, like, fall into that little hole. There's a switch deep in the hole in the floor. Somebody bring me a stick. I tried to push it, and my hand got stuck, and I I up and died. High five! Oh. I love those, those skeleton messages. Hello, Donnie and Novell. 
I hope you guys are ready to watch the greatest archaeological exploration game ever made. Black Carbuncle? You can't call him that. Oh, nice. I don't get hurt from whipping that little cow thing. What's this do? Oh, it opened the secret. There's an eye in this room, and that concerns me greatly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Sigin. Would you not hear my final wish? There lie here on my deathbed. Please release my husband, accused of a crime. He's being subjected to punishment by continuous exposure to poison water. As I have become unable to keep the poison water from him, he suffers yet. He is trapped in the room below the statues of the three goddesses. Poison water drips down from the beast statue hung above his head. Please help him. Maybe I should start a Google Doc now. I finally make my way into ruins that look like they'd have treasure. And the first thing I do is almost get killed by a trap. I don't think the medicine I have will be of any help. Damn. I really should have made a note of the trap that did me in. Shit. Oh! Do not approach. Do not attempt to grasp that which cannot be reached by your hand. Oh, no! I didn't think they were all going to be trapped. Oh, son of a bitch. I got played like a damn fiddle. <laughs> the hubris. need that health anyway. Oh my god, he fucking hit me with the, the, the mixies. He hit me with the guessies. That's what Smash players call them. They call them guessies. You gotta guess. Damn, that was kind of insane. I kind of murdered this this bastard. I mean, I don't want to pick that up because it's going to fill me up.
Oh man, I got him in the hole though. Shit, that's right. Yeah, let's go this way. Puff, puff. I was running away from some big ass monster and ended up here. If you can't beat an opponent, you can come back after you've gotten stronger, right? I might be dust and bones, but I won't give up, mom. A lot of money. Power is unsealed within Yggdrasil by mantras. Yggdrasil leads they who can harness the ten mantras. Leads the holder of the Jed to the end. Oh. Alpha Seeris, Prophecy Part 1. Goddesses live in the roots of Yggdrasil, three goddesses who spend time. The time-spinning goddesses keep the roots of Yggdrasil watered. The spring is forever protected to keep Yggdrasil alive. O oh, three goddess, protectors of Yggdrasil, don't let the squirrel, Redatosker, get away. No place it visits is to be missing. The foul words of the black dragon Nidhogg, that the water has run out. They'll reach Frailsvelger in the treetops. What's up with this stone tablet? This has some myth written on it. No hints? Come on, give me a break here. Oh shit. Oh wait, no, that one was empty. Ratatoskr! I got the Ratatouille! This looks like it says Shunken Ammo. Hey, what's up? What can I do you for? Guild. Guild that, huh? Got it. Got no idea what you want to use it for. You looking for a hidden shop or something? I'll take it. Thanks, buddy. Buy all you want. Why does she go up and down the stairs like that? Skeletons keep getting the drop on me, so I tried punching one onto the ground to be safe. I become a skeleton, am I gonna get a safety punch too? <laughs> Poor bastard. I'm sorry I had to do it to ya.
I need to do that whole top section again. Oh shit, I didn't even see that bat. The skeleton dialogue is really good so far. I am not a clever man. I tried to turn around. Oh, look, it's the final one. Am I going to have to fight the fucking squirrel again? I think so. Uh oh. <laughs> Some really amazing beasties out there. There's these things called room guards, what protect the more important rooms in these here ruins. Taking them out might get you somewhere, something nice, but you need to, to get your strength up before taking down the big bad ones. You know, a lot of HP, tough weapons, stuff like that. Also, confidence. Oh, that's right, and that's a dead end. <laughs> Wait, that was so adorable. It didn't even land on its feet. That was so cute. Oh, it's right here. I was about to teleport to this. Oh, look, there's a thingy. Uh-oh. <laughs> I like the desperation. The desperation grab. I can jump here. There are words written on the mural, but they're too big to scan. Try using specialized software. Damn. Damn. Well, I actually need to just go around. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to fight Nidhogg yet. Shit. 
shit. Oh yeah, look, there's the poison water dripping. A dirty man is shackled in chains. The chains seem to be attached to the bust of a beast that is dripping poison. Ah! Shit. Oh fuck, the boss already? That there, that's an Ankh! Guardian of these ruins is sealed inside using an Ankh jewel in front of the Ankh. The guardian of these ruins is sealed inside using an Ankh jewel in front of the Ankh. Ankh jewel in front of the Ankh will release the guardian. Make sure you're prepared for battle. It's fine, I know I can get a full heal. God, there's so many rooms. I wish it I wish I'd kept better track of what rooms I have and haven't been in. The cool looking wall up above up above didn't back an inch budge an inch. Even with my awesome strength. I guess I'll just I guess I'll need to use my head to get past it. <laughs> Should have headbutted it. Oh, there's an eye. I probably shouldn't whip that. Beware, fools who thoughtlessly harm the holy relics held within will suffer the divine wrath of the blue eye. That's really it? Wow. Also, hello, Rem. <laughs> have you, you have, you have mentioned you backed this game. Thank you. And you forgot to redeem your rewards and they never sent them. That sucks. Soul's no longer here. Where has it gone? Now that I have these good old shuriken, I should be able to fight Nidhogg. There's an achievement for whip oling onlying the bosses in this game. That's not surprising. Ah shit. Wasn't that also an achievement in the first one? Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead. You've done it, but the game's not especially built for it. They just knew someone would make it possible. They didn't even test it. They're just like, eh. If it's possible, someone will figure it out. Yeah, I've, I've heard it's more straightforward. Oh, shit. I need the fucking Patty's Pub shotgun right now. Get blasted! Okay, damn. Shit. Yeah, she she definitely ended up needing it. Fuck. I'm out of shuriken. Son of a bitch! God, isn't the gun a hundred and then ammo is like five hundred or something silly? I might just go find that dude selling shurikens and buy some more really quick. Oh, this person got a shuriken. Pepper, your claws are very, very sharp. Oh, the pistol's two hundred. I already made back 10% of the money I spent. Pretty good. I love that. I love that they just fall. Some of them are pretty ghoulish. I can't believe that one called me dick nuts or whatever. That was crazy. Why did she say that?
Damn it! This motherfucker got so much health. Or maybe the shuriken just do so little damage. I might need to I might need to explore a little more. No, the first mini boss in the game was the little fucking squirrel I killed. Reddit Oscar doesn't count, he's just a goofy guy. Oh, okay. Thank you! I'm not even risking this shit. Yeah, that does take a really long time. <laughs> Man's got a lot of health. You have 45 hours in this game and you can't tell me shit about it except Baphomet Pity. What the fuck was that? Ice fire treetop, son of a bitch! He's throwing bones at me! Well, where's there where there's ruins, there's lava, huh? All into it and you're screwed. There's a treasure that'll make the lava bearable. It's a mysterious cape called the Ice Cape. Hope you can find it, but you're still young. You can probably press through that lava with pure vigor, huh? Fuck off! No, don't push me into the lava! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god. Hello, hippo. <laughs> I was like, okay, it's going to go back now. Nope. You actively died to traps in this one in case there was a welcome to Lama Lana achievement again. This path is a freezing one, the frozen treetop presided over by the guardian mod gud. You must pass the frozen pillar to proceed. Oh shit. Kosugi research papers acquired. What's that app you just picked up? Your dad's research papers? What's he doing losing those? 
Originally, I contracted your dad and grandpa to investigate the ruins, and then you showed up for some reason. They possibly already an egg Lana? And your dad turning his research papers into an app. That's pretty baller. That's cute. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know how you just leave an app laying on the ground. Hello, that lava sure is nasty. Looks suspicious as hell. All my years of experience tell me that this will be impossible even with the ice cape. We'll call this poison lava. Bling swire? Humana, humana, humana. All right, well, I'm not done in this area. I need to find the jewel. I should really find the jewel in this area, the Ankh jewel, before moving on to the next area. I'm getting, I'm getting too excited. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Fafnir? What the fuck is this? Drops a treasure chest. Legend tells of a dwarf whose duty was to guard treasure. This dwarf became the dragon Fafnir. So great is his power that he once made an enemy of the Azer. It is said those who taste his blood or heart will gain knowledge above all others. Did I equip the guild? Yes. The keys to secrets tend to be kept secret. Who'd have thunk it? But don't take that to mean that you should go around recklessly hitting walls like me. Wouldn't you know? Hitting the walls with murals counts as blasphemy. Take this advice from me, a man on his way out. Bye bye. Past the roots of Yggdrasil lies on, on with them. The, like, the kingdom of the fairies who have foreseen the future of this world. That's what's known as a soul gate. It's somewhat different from what was in La Mulana. The light above the gate represents a number of souls. I think it means it requires the souls of some sort of guardians possessing immense power. Spikes don't hurt if you walk through them instead of falling on them. That said, this is a way to min too this is way too many spikes for me. Yeesh! My ass is gonna be sore tomorrow. Take note of the branches growing from Eager Sill. The area is branching off beyond the gate. Those who fight and those who protect alike are in seal within.
Okay, there is an eyeball in that room, so I gotta be careful. On the branches past this land lies the fortress governed by the ruler Odin and his company. The fortress was built by we of the Acer tribe in order to unseal the veneer. Thought to destroy our mother, our lands, the gates are sealed by guardians. The juxtaposition of the art style of the game and the portraits is unnerving. <laughs> I like it. Oh, Christ. Okay. Word to the wise. Don't destroy the column. Oh, so that's why a bunch of bodies were lying around here. You only live once. That's why I made the trek out here. Now I realize what it really means. Never thought death could be so educational. The golden rock stores the power of the stars. You know, I really thought I'd be able to get away. So that's why there's so many bones down there. <laughs> so did that... that first guy probably didn't know what was coming. Oh, that, that was funny as fuck. That's a nice drop. One? Never mind, that's a shitty drop. Oh, I haven't seen this room. Shit. Damn. I thought I could hit it with my whip or my shurikens to break it. Eglana Ruins Dictionary, Soul Gate, a gate sealed by guardian souls. The gate can apparently be opened by defeating the number of guardians here. Candlestick of Time, a candlestick adorned with a wheel of time pattern from which flames appear, said to grant power to those who are worthy of stopping time. You, who would stop time, light be bestowed upon you if you prove you have power of worthy of it. Good old lamp of time. The veneer who sought to destroy the great mother's world exiled to this land, the branches of Eglana, wherein they were sealed. 
The veneer must not be awakened. They are negative counterparts we birthed. Okay. I kinda wanna save that just so I have that war tidbit. So close. The seeking blue light sears flesh, rejecting all life. Cold steel alone may pass unscathed. Oh, look, Nidhogg. That's the candlestick of time. It looks different from the one in La Mulana. If you could carry its flame, you'd have the power to stop time. To carry it, you'll need the Lamp of Time Relic. If there's a candlestick of time in Eglana, then there must be a Lamp of Time here, too. Anyway, this doesn't matter right now. It's best to remember things that don't matter now for later, you know. I need more weights. I should have bought more at the shop above ground. Let this be a lesson to you. Better safe than sorry. Before I drop down and die. <laughs> Oh my god, he had 60 health? Oh. So I'm definitely feeling like I need to explore some more areas before I can get the the jewel thingy here. That was very close. The Ankh jewel. Because that way is blocked off. And so the lying of the Mulanas begins. Ah! Ah! This is a dead end also, yeah. I don't have the the hint book that tells me, oh, you can beat the first area. No matter what. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't think I'm missing anything though. I again did not see that bat.
Because I can't get up there yet. I can't get over there. Perfect. There's nothing for me down here yet. I need to get up to the very top. Um, I am going to go this way really quick. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, no. Shit. Back and around again. No way! Dad, hold on! Oh, they, I didn't I didn't notice him down there before. The first time. God, what a dick. What a dickhead statue. Why does it do that? This path is a land of unruly flames. The searing treetop presided over by the giant surter. Those not born of here have no hope of survival. Oh, shit. I'm alive. I lived. I reacted to it. That was so close. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no. Poison lava just like chews through your health. I can't believe I, I actually was able to live. What? Eglana, the hell is that? What you're saying is as long as this Eglana is around, it's too dangerous to allow Taurus in? Damn. No more expansions to Castle Zell food for a while, unfortunately. I do need more weights, actually. God, if this game doesn't abide by the same... I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. The whole 4x4... Four four rule. 
or the four wide rule that La Mulana, La Mulana played by. I don't think this Egg Egglana. I don't think Egglana plays by those rules. I think Egglana is a loose cannon that plays by its own rules, which are none. <laughs> Did you know I backed the game, though? Yes, Ram, we knew. <laughs> okay. I gotta be very careful. Kosugi Research Papers, an app for reading the Kosugi family's research into the La Mulana ruins. Research into Eglana appears to be ongoing. Launch the app from the menu screen. Oh god. Am I gonna have to read this? I'm gonna read it. The assumed history of La Mulana based on inspection of the ruins. The La Mulana ruins which we discovered were built inside a huge living being. It was a gigantic living being thought to have fallen to the earth in prehistoric times. Its size is so great that for us looking upon it, it's like an ant, viewing a human and being unable to comprehend just how large the human is. According to the very few surviving legends, this huge being desired a power in order to, re in order to return to space. The being then bore small living beings from its own body. These new living things were the people who came to populate the Earth. These beings called the Great Being Mother. Possessing innumerable large open spaces inside its body, this mother fostered these races inside itself. The remains of this structure are what we know today as the La Mulana Ruins. We've now received a request from the Elder Zelpu to re-inspect the La Mulana Ruins. However, through the past several years of research, my daughter and I have already become aware of the mysteries remaining of the ruins of La Mulana. What was that light given off when the mother was sealed off? What is the zeroth child? What do the murals of upside down trees seen throughout La Mulana mean? Could there be yet another set of ruins similar to La Mulana? I need to get my research in order so I can ascertain the truth of this terrifying theory. There is a tool that allows you to latch onto walls simply by stretching out your hand and taking grasp. With it, you could swing around a pillar polished to a mere sheen. Moo, shoo woo! Grapple Claw! Holy shit! He's got fucking Vega Wall Dive! Why did I go so fast that first time? Jesus! What the fuck? Possessor of the figure eight of prayer. Pray that the memory of this moment may remain. Sing, bird of prey, beauty begins at the foot of you. Gaze upon the foot. The picture on that tablet, I've seen it before. 
It's a tool for praying that we seventh children use. It's called a totem pole. If you have that, you should be able to record things on the Holy Grail. It's like a special Holy Grail tablet. It's similar to the replica of the Holy Grail tablet in the village, but it looks like it can only record locations. Hey, that's fine with me, man. I, however, I do not have it. In my locations. Oh, I need a totem pole. Yeah, it's... Oh, the picture on that tablet. Yeesh! Oh! At least I can shoo! Tring, tring. Unfortunately, this claw will not help me in this area. Okay, let me let me keep track of where I have and haven't been a little better. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm really bad at seeing things in this game. Shit. I mean, I still need the... Can't get down there still. The issue. Ah! Wait, what soft puzzle chest? Wow. I feel like I need to go to the ice, fire and ice place, but it's so hard.
that, that, that pillar looks like it's been scrubbed and polished pretty well. With a surface that smooth, you could probably grab on with the grapple claw and swing all the way around to the other side, huh? While holding on to the pillar, try pressing the direction toward the pillar and press jump. Oh. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, I can't get back up now. Are you fucking with me? Mr. Electric, send him to the poison lava chamber. Send him to the, the poison explosion room. The bat saved me! And then it fucking killed me! Music is so good. Shit. Come on. If it is the flow of water you wish to defy, the treasure of the dwarves will serve. My body was hung in the underworld, left to decay. This was my punishment for daring to enter the underworld living. Oh my god! I can't get out! There's big ass squids, dude! The secret hidden by the golden rock. Hidden behind the wall, pinned by the golden rock. I never thought my grave would be here, but I am happy that my mother and father are pleased by me and their blessing made me see the maker's light. That squid room ran an ass feed on your computer? Jesus. I don't want to be here. I want to be up. I want to be up top. Oh my god, I'm dead again! <laughs> I like how sometimes this flame doesn't spawn in. Whoa! Whoa! I was thinking, I was thinking of the... I was thinking of the, 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 the code. The tablet. And it's like, something, something, where your hands don't reach. <laughs> and I was like, huh, I wonder if I just throw stuff over there. 
That's a treasure called an Ankh Jewel. It can destroy the Ankh where the Guardians sleep. The Guardians are big ass, scary ass monsters in the ruin. Eglana's a ruin, which means there are Guardians in Eglana too. These guys are hardcore, so be prepared before you go picking a fight. The suffering is over for now. Deet, deet. Hey, look, there's Fafnir. Oh, oh, fuck. Did I hit him in the mouth? Yeah. So it seems like with that attack, I can stay on the inside of its face. This one, I want to stay on the outside of its face. Those flames don't deal a lot of damage. Clearly, I'm not supposed to be in the fire ice place quite yet. I just want to get a turnaround whip. I gotta wait till the top of my jump arc. Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Oh, I won. <laughs> Congratulations, you have obliterated Fafnir, but the adventure continues. Hey, it's that thing that the that 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 that, that dude had. Is that a crystal skull that you just got? I had heard that the ones left in La Mulana had been stolen. Maybe different from the ones in La Mulana. I'd like to look into it, so bring it to me when you have the time. Hmm. Skull carved out of crystal. Each skull is said to have a unique ancient epitaph. 50 cents, crystal skull. <laughs> I go like here. My inspiration. Hey, you've made it back. That's all fine and well, but please show me the crystal skull. Come on, quickly. Hmm, it's shaped slightly different from the ones in La Mulana. Let me hold on to it for a while. I want to look into this. Okay. Are you done? Go back to the village and keep the elder occupied or some such to pass the time. I'll finish this up quickly. Ding, ding. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ding, ding, da, ding, ding, ding.
I've been alive without a light novel. Nah, can't really think of anything for it. Is that the main character would die on pretty much every page. Ping pong. Crystal skull you lent me. It's pretty interesting. Though there are 12 of these in total. Among the materials I was researching was something called the 12 seal inscriptions. Apparently the various seals can be broken in accordance with the number of skulls in your possession. Anyway, I've digitalized these research materials. I don't know what's written in them, though. I mean, they were sealed, so... Would you like to hear that again? Nope. Alright, so that probably means... You can go fuck with the competition. That's a good little skull. Divine Fortress, huh? Einharjar. Shoot at the figure before you. That bluish glow is the ruin's famous barrier. It's a sizzling little trap that grills up any living thing passing through it. Hmm? If something wasn't alive, it might be able to get through. Like steel or something. Sure, it might go through if you tried tossing one over. fast as shit. Golan Bursty? Dude, this song's going off. This is the Divine Fortress. This fortress was built for the purpose of sealing away the veneer, a race born from a six children, and one which would see the world destroyed. The hall in which they live is sealed off by a gate. Weezer, also of the six children, have been sealed inside Eglana for continuing battle with the veneer. No one here wishes for the end of the world. Would you like to hear more? This is the divine fortress. Oh wait, that's not hear more, it's just hear the same thing. Don't do anything stupid. Valhalla lies beyond the gate deep in the Divine, for Divine Fortress. We of Odin sealed it behind that gate. We do, do not approach unless you pine for the end. A map! That's a good little frog. Holy shit! I don't like him! Aim and shoot. Vritra, the calamity of the veneer's creation, created to overturn the pres 
prescripts of the end. It slumbers in an ox, storing energy until the day arrives. Until that day arrives. This is the Divine Fortress, where the Acer preside over the Veneer Captives. Do 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 Oh god, that riff's so good. Four fairies live on with an Yggdrasil. Their power will be revealed to those who obtain the Fairy King's grace. The light of the fairies will summon a door. Nothing. They say nothing. Berries. Investigating these ruins would be a lot easier if they lent you their power. They've got various powers, like health restoration. There are fairies in the ruins of La Mulana, but those were created with the Tree of Life, a machine used to create life itself. I heard from the Fairy Queen that the originals from which they were copied are trapped inside Eglana. If you spring them free, I'm sure they'll cooperate. Valhalla, where the souls of warriors gather where there are 12 thrones, rafters of spear shafts, and a roof thatched of shields. Oh shit! Ooh, I love that sound. The secret shop probably is opened with the seal. All right, making good progress, I feel. I feel like I'm moving forward, which is all I could ever ask for sometimes. Shit. I'm going to check out the other direction. Ah! I've heard that the trickster of Yggdrasil has been freed. So a light flight toward Valhalla. I believe he came back for the purposes of reawakening Vritra. Our own race created this disaster. This is the beginning of the end. Were you not listening? No, I was listening. Good. The migratory ravens Huggin and Munnin, Odin's servants and protectors of a sigil. Oh, interesting. Oh, Huggin and Munnin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huggin' and Munnin!
I was gonna say, when they perch is my time to attack. Hell yeah, brother! Give me that sigil! You like that tear is one handed? Hey, you scored a sigil! It's like a key. You can use to break seals inscribed with the same La Mulana character. Breakable seal should start glowing when you walk up to one while holding the sigil with the same character. Okay, yeah. Origin sigil. Stone tablet inscribed with the character for one, signifying origin. Can be used to destroy sigils with the corresponding character. Like this. Dun 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 dun. dun. Cannot be reached by your feet. Turn back. It couldn't be reached by my feet. Turn back. Careful your toes don't get pinched. You don't want to end up like me. Down is where I came from. Oh! God, there's a lot of shit in there. Dude, this frog's fucking me up. I could have just teleported back here. Nice. Every weight I find is a blessing. God, I gotta. I don't remember what the sigils everywhere else were. Different sigil. No sigil. Sigil's up there. Bam! Oh my god, again? How did I get pranked a second time? Oh, that just opened the chest. That little pad is probably... Oh, fuck. The soul gate is sealed by the souls of those who keep guard. Extinguish the lights of souls etched above the gate. Offer as many guardians' lives as lights. Then lo, the gate shall open. Ready? That's not a good sign. Son of a bitch. Okay. 
Get out! Why does he look like that? No shit! Oh my god, I'm using so many weights. Who are you? You know I've you have no place here. Get out! Oh man. Liquor passed down by a Lakapala Sage, our hidden treasure that allows one to escape death but once. If you seek it, you must make the climb by Odin's side. Keep the deity's words on your lips as you make for the Great Cup. Lord sits on the true throne and incants fire, rain upon earth. Death Village acquired. The fuck is Death Village? Is it a game? An app developed by Phobos. It can extract the data from crystal skulls into a text format. Okay. Death Village! Nagoro's first flash game. In this puzzler, you lead a man through a haunted house. A time-related app. Ye of weak and dumb body, who holds this skull in hand. Here are mine, fulfill our will. Oh, though we are noble. Why do we crumble so? Unable to come down to this land of the puny, we shall impress upon this world at least our will. Skogel and Reg Regenleaf, maiden custodians of the rustic and repurposed. When you stop to think about it, heaven's just a place without any actual ground. Scary. What the fuck? The fucking dumbass cup! I can't get up there. No, no, no! I don't even. Oh, fuck!
Do you remember hating that room? Which one? The one with the giant fucking cup? Oh, the spinning wheel. Norman Gun is the master of serpents. He has been sealed away in the place known as the Immortal Battlefield. Five the water surrounding the world and use the golden key to call upon him. I too once attempted to defeat him. It was no match for the serpent's power. You will struggle unless you borrow the power of birds moved by a golden key. That'll do. Eat it. Hmm. Gondol, Maiden, Custodian of the Golden Wings. Svafa, Maiden, Custodian of the Glove of Power. Nothing I can do in this room. Son of a bitch. Have I been in this one yet? We have Odin. Okay, yeah, yeah. I read this one already. Shit! to go all the way back up. What the fuck is this room? Did I just pass right by this one last time? I think so.
Oh. All right. You see how paranoid I was? In Valhalla, there is a pond of poison water. The Vanir sunk their treasures in its tainted depths. Oh. My god. You should pick the right equipment for the job. Always prepare for the worst. Like me. Never caught wearing anything but my trusty old banana hammock. I made it this far in life with this philosophy, so trust me on this one. Yep, I fucking saw it coming. Damn it. Oh shit. Please go up faster. Loud ass coin. Son of a bitch. I'm making no progress whatsoever. At least I saved another trip around. Weep. Why are all the sounds so good in this game? That's a lot. Okay. I feel like this is gonna be something I need, so I gotta keep rooting tablets until I find the one that had the other people on it.
Oh! I meant to whip the wall, not the fucking zappy thing. Jesus Christ. Actually, this way, this is way faster than what I've been doing. All right, my ass is jumping in the boat. I'm definitely missing something here at this moment. Like, I either a puzzle piece, I'm missing some piece of the puzzle. And this is back to the start. Dun 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 Oh my god, there's so much shit in this room. I should be able to just go to the left here now. Yeah. Oh, new area, fuck. That's what I was missing. Valhalla! This is the fortress of the Veneer who defied the Azer, sought to destroy Yggdrasil. The Calamity Vritra is sealed here until the day comes for its end. Nah, we're not going into that pit today. It does look like there's something special in there though. That corn? A piggy! Fuck off! Carbunco? Inara? Not the soul of the trickster, Yggdrasil, is attempting to awaken the Ark in this land. Not yet time to unleash Vritra. He's in hiding somewhere. Stop him. Rakshasha. There is a hidden means of binding to an Ankh. The fate of those who bury their soul within an Ankh is tied to its guardian. Oops. Armored thrones. Thrones dotted around Valhalla. It is said that the true king sits on but one of 12 thrones. Cast a spear that penetrates the earth through the hole that runs through it. A 
puddles of water inside the ruins are poisonous. I mean, these ruins are set on killing the hell. Okay, yeah. This is the first time I've encountered water? There were once three machines which came to us six children from the sky. They were named Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma. Shiva and Vishnu, weapons with the power to burn entire cities, were rendered useless during the war. Brahma alone, watching over the world from above, was taken away by beings who came from the skies. It is said that Brahma possesses all information on it. I really want to go in that pit. It looks like there's 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 definitely something in that pit. Valhalla. A Holy Grail tablet is colored differently. Since it isn't a regular Holy Grail tablet, I don't think it will be recorded in the Holy Grail. There's something similar in La Mulana. You got some sort of game app loaded up. Apparently you can tweak the frequency to record to the Holy Grail. I think that something made recently would operate at the same frequency as another made centuries ago. Pretty much a miracle. Damn. Hucked again. Alright. It's pit time. See what I'm gonna do? Watch this, watch this. Damn. See? I knew there was something good. I'm a professional speedrunning exploration extraordinaire. You won't catch me wasting time examining rocks. Well, unless we're talking about my grave. Jeez. Might as well examine the hell out of it. Well, I mean, I'm not done in this area yet, so... Still more work to be done. What? At least I feel like there's more work to be done. Maybe I've done everything. It's a pretty small area. I think these areas are pretty linked. I think I think I need to, to make progress in Valhalla. I want that weight. Can't wait until I get the app that lets me break jars in one hit. Dun 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 dun. Oh, that's a big fireball. Oh, perfect. This is what I wanted.
Up we go! Fuck! My bones! Yeah, that, that dead, dead app doesn't change the frequencies. Corn. Corn. They should have called it a corn bunkle. The blue eye protects Yggdrasil. It levels divine punishment against those who dare to harm the Holy Lands. The red eye protects Yggdrasil. It levels divine reckoning against those pitiful who ransack these... Are you fucking kidding me? Blah Mulana, you son of a bitch. Okay, it's that tile. I'm still at it. I don't know how much longer. I'm having a pretty good time though. I beat the first area, yeah. Do you know about the mantras? Via the hidden relic known as the Jed Pillar, a mantra turns words containing power into power itself. And can the Himen mantra representing heaven in front of the bust of Mimir, here in this room, and a path leading up above will appear. There are a lot of similar mechanisms here in Eglana that are sealed by mantras. Oopsie. That bloody gate. You know what it is, Elder? That's a big old nope. You're going senile. Apparently it's called the Corridor of Blood. We're checking it out with the scanner. There should be some information on it. The corridor is said to awaken upon drinking the blood of the mighty. It is not known where the corridor leads. Alright. Oh. This looks like a... No, this isn't a big old dead end. Hold on. There's a lot going on here. This looks like a very bad place. Shrine of the Frost Giants. Zorya! snow and ruins like these never seen snow before it's cold right and slippery all the soft snow falling makes me want to jump right into a big ass pile of it i like this big guy oh it was a yeti supernatural being balor awaits beyond the eternally frozen sealed lands balor keeps guard over the garb handed down by the anunnaki those who don the garb must pass the pillar of swirling light for then neither heat nor cold shall ail them. A hundred coins? Oh shit. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. 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 Yep. Glad I got out of that place. I just got a hundred coins. I can't just, I just can't risk that. You know how much home, how much shit a hundred coins can get me? It can buy me half a gun. God, yeah, I would, I'd 500 per ammo. I wanna go back through there. I wanna go through La Mulana again. I think I read all this shit. 
Were there any skeletons? I don't think there were skeletons in Lana Lana. I think they cleaned most of those out. Also, the Gate of Guidance was like fucking 10 minutes in this one. La Mulana's been commercialized. Oh, look, he's got stuff now. Codis codices? Those are codices, ancient magic inscriptions. Phobos dug them up from the ruins. It lets you see how much HP bosses have left. Oh my god. And an Ankh? I mean, obviously, I'm gonna need the Ankh jewel. Coda sees. Coda sees nuts. Assault. You were gonna make that joke? It's a good joke. Back in the grain mausoleum. Oh, I can't go to the sides here. I did not come over here last time. Oh wait, no, I 100% came over here. Yes. We did see him earlier. And he left his journal behind for us. In application form. He dropped an application on the ground. Okay, I definitely need... Big jump. Yeah, they were both here. Oh, the one, yeah. That guy is still pointing at this jar, so I thought maybe I could go into that jar over there to the far right. Yo, what's up? They cleaned out all the skeletons. Nope, oh, no they didn't. Nope, oh, yeah they did. Look, there's a thing up there, though. Ah, there's so many things everywhere that I want. So roots of Yggdrasil should be cleared out. So let's go. Did I, I did I go to the Divine Fortress? Did. I think here in Divine Fortress, I need. I'm pretty sure I just need to progress into Valhalla and search around there for my next steps. I did not see that bat.
God, can I make this? I think I think I gotta get something else first before I do that. Wombo combo! Gold-plated giant Vukub Kakui is protected by his two sons, the brothers Zipakna and Kabration, who will be awakened when their lives are spent. I don't need to save that. That's just right up here, right? No. Shit, not again! Metroid can crawl! Isn't that crazy? There are two stone tablets that respond to the Holy Chalice. The waves that warp the chalice's power will lead you to the black stone tablet. Ding, 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 ding. Duck. Future development company. Bargain Duck can't believe his ears. Bargain Duck is dumbfounded. Those are weights not to be confused with cakes. That's future development company. I mean, I've got big dreams for the future. If you've got big dreams for the future, it could be pretty useful. Give me that. Oh no, I'm broke as shit. Well, what we ha what have we here? You can just forget about shopping here. Damn. I like his sprite a lot. His sprite is really good. Oh shit. Am I going to just get fucked up now? it to proceed. Oh, like in the chair. I'm trying my best to sit. I don't even see that skeleton. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, it's been a minute. They hit me with the bzzz. Yep, dude, I've gotten lava- I've gotten mulan so many times. It's not lava mulan anymore, it's egg mulan Or not egg mulan egg lan I can't say I got La Mulana anymore. Oh, that's so many coins.
Help! How do I unlock sitting? You can kind of follow his blood trails. Kind of fucked up. Okay, I can't go under those fireballs. I don't like the car bun corn. He's very rude. Fuck! So is that shit! That shit's rude too! Fuck it. I don't. They didn't call it corn buncle. It should have been called a corn buncle. The good trap door. Oh, here we go. The Pachna and Cabracken. I need to kill that fucking bird. Oh shit. Do I have to go through the goddamn violence district to get to it? Gandarv. Yes, I do know about Mantra. Thank you. Uh-oh. There's Cabrican dead. Do not approach the Corridor of Blood. Doing so will invite the end. Those who brave the Corridor of Blood will be exiled to the land that is not. But now that I gotta find the other bird. Shit, not again, dude! I found the other bird! There's the Pachna, and they were the two I needed to kill. The gold plated giant, Vakub Kakwak. You will be awakened when their lives are spent. trying to save this sounds like a bad place sounds like a really bad place looks like a bad place sounds like a bad place Thank God the corn only deals one damage per hit. Oh my fucking God, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna go bananas. I don't know how many more times I'm gonna hit it. It could be, it could be a million. Okay, the bird did not respond. Ritra.
Paul, the trickster of Yggdrasil, is headed toward Vitra's Ankh. Vitra is not yet at full power. Vitra is not yet awakened. The pitch black flames engulf this land. The end of the world will begin. Stop Vitra and the trickster of Yggdrasil. Thanks. Uh, how do I get over there now? Because you, you only really only solved one of my problems here. Douchebag. Oh. oh my god. At least I'm almost at a heal. Oh god, maybe. Could be some chair shenanigans. Could be a lot of things. That was on the opposite side of this, yeah. There's still a lot of map to cover, but I am very low on health. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm so close. Please just give me the health I need. I appreciate the weight. But please. Just a smidgen of health so I can go through some of these other areas. Just a crumb. Oh, shit! Alright, I definitely need fucking health. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. This bite. This bite. Oh my god, I'm so close. Oh. 
Oh my god, I'm so close. I was gonna say, if either of these drop XP, I'm there. Neither of them dropped XP. Oh my god. Please. Oh. Oh, this game, this game wants me to suffer. There's no more things, there's no more things to kill. For free. I need to spend a wait to kill another thing. Oh wait, no I don't. Oh, corn be damned. Son of a bitch! Please! That's it. That's all I need. Oh, please. No, don't disappear. No! <laughs> Thank God. This is not super helpful. Oh wait. Shit. There we go. Down here. Oh, it's this area. traps there's no way they're as good in this game as they were in La Mulana they would not allow that again right Why did I do that again? It's just like reaction, like, oh, I'm, I'm at a wall, time to smack it. Can't get that experience. Gone. I'm gonna go save. Good sounds. Oh, Saul, you're so cute. Oh, nice. I thought that was going to kill me. 
dissonance lingers where children of the same seed are in conflict. When the calamity that governs conflict disappears, dissonance will be released, and the stone with a face swallows it. Fuck. A little confusing. Stone with a face swallows. Got it. Oh, Christ. I mean, I could activate this now, but I don't know if this is the correct gem. Like, the one I found in the fucking... Whatchamacallit. It just doesn't seem right to use it here. But also, what else is there for me to, to uncover here? I wish I could jump off these stairs. Power! Oh, that's no good. Noted. Shit, that's right. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! That's pretty nice. It doesn't make me go all the way, run all the way back to the thingy. Casual game, baby game! Holy shit, that dealt so much! It doesn't help that that first hit dealt 8 bazillion damage. The first game's randomizer also implements them. That's super nice. I like that. I like that. Shit. That's fine. I didn't take that much damage. Oh, fuck.
the fuck? Why does he do that shit? Bastard? I'm dead. I like how he just smacks my ass out of the way. He's like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, that deals so much damage. Oh, that deals so much damage. I keep forgetting. I think I'm just tired. Because I keep forgetting that that shit makes a big ass wave of brrrr. You know, brrrr. Just like that. Oh my god. God, that deals like... That dealt 39 damage, I think. His headbutt fireball. Fucking asshole, dude. Can we talk about how crazy that fucking back whip was that stopped him from biting my ass? That was kind of sick. Congratulations! You obliter obliterated Vritra, but the adventure continues. Achievement unlocked. Obstacle. The Samtara. You received your contact information from the Elder. I have a message from Al Sadana. I have something to give you. Come back up above ground. Scale sphere. It's looking a little stinky in here. I found an Ankh jewel that was broken during construction on the ruins. I entrusted it to Phobos. He should be able to fix it. Once it's fixed, he'll probably sell it at one of the shops in the Lamuana Ruins. I already bought that. Oviterated Blitra. Blitra Oviterated. If you can master that thing, you're my hero! I'm just starting this and you didn't miss the full LP. Correct, I am just- I'm just starting this. Take a walk on the dark side. I just beat my second boss. God, Bot and Kaitos took so fucking long. Good game. Long game, though.
Oh my god, I whipped so fucking slow. Did I finish all six battle networks? Um, I'm waiting to do the rest. Um, I'm re waiting to do four through six on the remake. There's no way that's everything. Since it seems like the remake's actually gonna be super fucking good, I decided I would, I'd play the remakes and see. Especially for four, I'd really like. I'm really interested in seeing if uh, translation fixes actually happen. The true lord of Azura, who deposed Vishnu from his seat in heaven, Delandara, he's unsealed here, so his terrible power may not be free. I should not have done that. There we go. Delandra required an SR. The Woodman Hardlock. I would hope they'd fix a lot. Egg Lana. I was this close to clearing it. I'll try again later. The next life. And then this weird stick thing I don't have. I press that button. Press the button. But I can't get over there without that sigil. God, yeah, I feel like that's it. I don't I don't know what else to get here. I've explored every room. I feel pretty well. <laughs> Fucking corn, dude. Carbon corn. You just uh, the battle network collection comes out on the thirtieth. On your thirtieth birthday, damn. Fuck. I hate that trap. It's gotten me so many times. Oh shit, that area. The penis exploding area. I can't get up there yet. Oh my god, that's a one way. Jiva sits in the heavens, from which he drops from the light that burns the land below. Vishnu sits in the heavens, from which he watches the land below. The two gods fall from heaven over conflict, leaving behind Brahma, relocated to one of Yggdrasil's branches, the primeval entity of many heads and arms who watches over this world of creation. I'm pretty sure I can't get over to that area yet. I want to drop down here. Going to the penis exploding area. Oh my god! This blood wasn't here the first time I came to this room.
I have not. Oh. Loads. Oh shit, that's right. Oh! That wasn't the penis exploding room, that was the penis flattening room. Deal duck. Oh shit, I can only warp to Valhalla here. I see, I see, I see. Ah. I don't know where else I needed the scale sphere. This area, I don't really need it. I think. Oh no. Oh well. I I'm tired. I need the I need the break. I need the break. I'm getting I'm very sleepy. But that's a good that's a good stopping point for me. Really liking this so far. I gotta. I probably should start taking notes. Oh. I need to start keeping track of everything. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll draw some of the maps. And like mark down what I know I have and haven't completed. What room I know for sure I've completed. And stuff like that. We'll see. We'll see how far what I do. Uh, we'll see. If I remember to bring my work, my work journal home. And it will be my Mulana journal instead of my work. So I take all my phone notes on my phone anyways at work. So yeah, we'll see. Great game. I love this. When's the car racing challenge? That might be, who knows? It might be soon. 